Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6695 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, please like and subscribe. So this is listed as a hard level where we have 22 moves to collect 5 dragons, remove 7 magic mixers, and remove 18 crystal candies. Now the crystal candies aren't terribly deep, that's a good thing. Um, we've got one dragon here. I only see one, although sometimes I miss them. We have to bring her anywhere down to the bottom, but we also have dispensers. So do I have to get one all the way to the bottom before the next one will be dispensed? Or is it like every four turns we get one or every three turns we get one? I'm not quite sure. The magic mixers, also known as evil spawners, I think I need to focus on those guys because for every turn that I take that I don't strike them, for every three turns I take that I don't strike them, they can spew something bad out at me. If I do strike them, I can kind of knock them off course and then eventually remove them, which is what I need to do. I love that I have a wrapped candy right here right now. I'm definitely going to take that. And because that feels a bit lucky, I want to try to make sure that I make the very best moves possible to extend that luck. So I could do this move. It'll probably slide this down and I like it to attack where it is. Notice that we've got candy curls here so we can try to dissolve these. We've got candy cane fences here. So that's a problem. We can only approach these in certain ways. Um, I don't like this because I think I want to use this quickly and I could do this, but I think instead I'm going to do this making a stripe, which is just going to break up that crystal candy a little bit and give us more freedom while setting this off here and then we got that struck twice plus we've got an opening here so now I could strike it again now the question is if this one is kind of resting in resting mode and these are very active should I go to these and try to quell them or should I work on this I'm going to work on this one because if I can just remove one of these that's one more that can't attack me and I also don't know what these are going to spew out yet. I do see that I have another dragon on the board, even though I haven't collected. That's good news. Okay. Um, I can't reach this one. I've got these rainbow twists showing up on the board. That's not pleasant. Not the worst thing, but not pleasant. I'm going to do this and try to open this area up. This is about ready to spew at me, and I don't want it to take over the things I've already created. Okay, I'm going to do this move first, and then this move. Thankfully, that didn't get taken over by these rainbow twists. Oh, I'm going to do this. I blow that up. It hits one of the rainbow twists. All right, so we're quelling that. We've got these guys coming down, not super quickly, but now I've got a really good help here. Should I take this or should I do this first? I don't want to lose this opportunity, and that may create a chain reaction I'm unaware of. But I think it's worth the risk. The worst that would happen is this sets this off. It takes out a color. It concentrates things down. It maybe knocks a few things out. The best that could happen is I hit these guys twice. I mean, I, I hit these guys once with the orange, and then I have the opportunity to hit them even more with green. So I'm going to take that. This held. Do I take this now or do I do something different? I think I take this now. Do I have a lot of green on the board? No, but I have significant amount. Um, I at least got one guy collected. I thought I wasn't even going to get either of them collected. Do I hold on to this to try to match it up? No, I don't because this could spew and turn this into a... a uh, rainbow twists and I don't want that to happen so if I take out purple it knocks this out that would be done that's kind of nice it advances this guy down it collects this guy but it's not hitting any of the big barriers if I take out green we hit a barrier here a barrier here I like that we bring this guy down two layers plus put the purple in um, a, a good spot so that I can collect these. Green would also hit this and remove this entirely. Um, if I take out blue, 
it would hit this and this. That's not bad. If I take out orange, it would hit a layer here. It would take this out entirely. It would take a layer here. It would hit this. And it would hit this. I think orange is the way to go. I'm going to do that and see where that gets me. See how careful I'm being when I start with lock. I want to try to, you know, create situations so I can turn that luck into a win. I could make another stripe here. That's not bad. It would be aiming to, to take this guy down. But I only have these two on the board, and those are the only two that I need. So I think I want to focus on what's going to help me over with this area. I like this move here. It hits this. I prefer this move. It hits this once. It sets up a stripe. So that is in the lead at this point. This isn't a bad move. This is still better. This is a good move, but these aren't ready to explode, and hopefully this will stay right where it is. Let's do this. Oh, now I'm going to do this. Now I think this. So it'll forestall these from spewing something out. This one still will. Um, but I hit that twice, so these are gone now. Now I have to focus over here. Yeah, I know, little guys. I know you're still there. I understand. I'm hoping that you'll just kind of be collected on the backswing. Wouldn't that be lovely for that to happen? Uh, I'm going to do this and hope a blue comes in. It did. I now have this purple that might help over here. Yeah, even though I got some luck, and even though I think I played well, I'm still struggling with this level. It's these candy cane fences that just cordon everything off and make life difficult. Um, I think this is the best move. <sighs> I was hoping we'd be able to manufacture something to hit over here. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm hoping, I was hoping a wrapped candy would show up. Yeah, not happening. So let's evaluate this. After my last turn, I'll probably still have both of these guys on the board. But I think it would have been relatively easy to take these down if I had cleared these out with a few turns left. Um, it's this that, you know, even though I've been focusing on these guys, I still have three rivets here. So I, I was good at clearing out some of these, but not the other areas. So that's what I'm going to focus on in the future. What I'm going to do is pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off initially. Once I solve this, I'll come back through and narrate everything. And if I find a new strategy to help me, I'll certainly pass that along. Okay, so I'm looking for the best move. That's not bad, but I do want to make moves lower if I can. Let's do that right in between those two. I'll take this now. Oh, and I like that wrapped if it doesn't explode. And I love this striped wrapped. It's going to hit so many of those magic mixers. We hit five of them on that one. Yep, so we're going to keep going, trying to hit as many as we can. Taking out the rainbow twists that get in our way, but really not focusing on those. Focusing on, there we go. Getting rid of those magic mixers. Oh, another striped draft combo. Look at that. That hits so much. I only have, oh, I don't have, I have no crystal candies left to get. Um, I do have to pay a bit of attention to the dragons, but first I'm going to keep working on, oh, look at this. I can get a dragon and hit that uh, magic mixer. Now notice that I wasn't going for the um, color bomb there over on the left hand side with the orange and I'll tell you there's a very important reason I didn't go for that I totally missed it I'm focused on this right hand side of the board not paying attention to everything else plus things are going my way and I haven't played this too many times and so I was just in the zone of trying to get these done without looking at all of my options bad choice on my part Thankfully, it still works out just fine 
putting those blue together, getting that last dragon collected with still one turn left. Probably I could have gotten it done more easily if I had, because of course, not only was that a color bomb right there, there's a color bomb next to a wrapped candy. Sure, there's a possibility everything could have exploded, but still, if it had been a wrapped candy and a color bomb, they would have just destroyed the board. I would have been done so much more quickly. So yeah, if you want to get done quickly, don't move quickly. Move slowly so that you can make the best choices and not make huge mistakes like I did. All right, that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, oh, I forgot to tell you how many tries that took. That was that was close to five. It was between five and ten tries. As always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.